What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you've read the title, yes, I'm going to make an optimal methods for fishing XP guide. As you may know, I made one for mining XP recently and I decided to make this into a series and try to make one for each skill in Hypixel Skyblock. But of course guys, if you end up enjoying this video or any other video on my channel, please subscribe and leave a like on this video as it really helps me out a ton and we are really on the final stretch to 1000 subscribers which is a huge milestone for this channel but i've kept you guys waiting long enough time to go and discuss about the best fishing xp gain methods whenever you're starting and preparing to grind any XP, any like skill in Hypixel Skyblock, there are three main things you must first have. Not having these really slows down your process and makes it much more difficult for you to improve in your skills. The first of these is to always be eating, be on a booster cookie, as you get a 20% EXP boost in all skills. And then the second is to get a god pot as just a 15% EXP boost as well in most skills. And also the final and most important one, you need to subscribe to Vintus as it has been proved scientifically that being subscribed to my channel increases your skill XP gain by upwards of 50%. Trust me, it's totally, totally legit. Well, okay, I've kept you guys waiting long enough on this part. Let's move on to passive ways to get fishing XP. As always on this series, we're going to start with the most passive way to get fishing XP. The best minion for fishing XP is actually the fishing minion, um, pretty obvious. However, people may be surprised at just how good the clay minions actually are for fishing XP. T11 clay minions are pretty much as good as T9 fishing minions while being much cheaper. Of course, T11 fishing minions are much better than T11 clay minions. However, they're something somewhere around 20 times the price of clay minions. That is why if you're on a budget or just don't want to invest all your money into fishing minions, go for clay minions as I've done as they are really good and really worth the money. Additionally, if you're going to be collecting your clay minions, try to always be using a rod that has the expertise enchant on it as high as possible. As you can see, I only have expertise 6, but each expertise level is more fishing XP, so it's just really good to get a high level of expertise on your rod. You can always borrow a friend's rod with expertise 10 if you can. Additionally, if you have a squid pet, also use that as it will give you an additional 30% fishing XP when you're collecting your minions. Now let's move on to the active part of gaining fishing XP, which is, well, fishing. So now I'm going to be showing you guys some pretty good locations for fishing and how they can be pretty useful in what their advantages are. So the first fishing location you could use is just the hub pond, which is here, as you can see, this is the hub. And here you go here and next to the ruins over there, you have the pond and you can simply be fishing here. It's really good with this as you can get private lobbies and pretty much fish in peace. Another great place to fish is in the birch area in the park. This pond here, is pretty good for fishing and also incredibly popular for fishermen as you can go and talk to Vanessa here you can pay her 5,000 coins to make it rain so for example here I make it rain for a minute and it will greatly increase the spawn chance of squid and your fishing time I believe I'm not 100% sure on the fishing time but it will increase the spawn chance of squid and squid will randomly just spawn inside the water like as you can see here squid just spawned and I can come kill it and I get fishing XP. Another excellent area to fish in, and it actually gives you quite a bit more fishing XP than fishing in normal areas, is lava fishing in the crystal hollows. So as you can see, you can actually put your fishing rod in lava, and you can actually catch special lava mobs. You can see I'm fishing here. Let's hope we get a lava mob. Nope. 
Yeah, but pretty much that's the point of it. You can fish in the lava in the crystal hollows and it actually gives you more fishing XP on average per hour. The final and most powerful area for fishing is, well, this it's in the barn, but not exactly. So as you can see here, I'm going to fast travel to the gold mine because these servers are usually quite empty. As you can see, there are not many players. And from the gold mine, I will use my aspect of the void and fly to the barn. As you can see, there's someone barn fishing right now, right here. And essentially what you do is you fish and all the sea creatures that you fish, you will pull them down over there eventually. And using like a fishing speed pet, and eventually, once you get enough sea creatures down there, you go down using your squid pet and kill all of the sea creatures for maximum fishing XP. I'm not exactly an expert on barn fishing, so if you want to watch better guides, there are many online on YouTube from other YouTubers. But essentially, this is actually the best way to gain fishing XP actively. Also, make sure that when you are fishing, you should to be using one of the pretty good baits for fishing XP. For example, I am using fish bait as I'm not very invested in fishing, but if you want to go all out for fishing, you should be using whale bait as it is the best bait for fishing, for fishing money and fishing XP, I believe. Afterwards, I think the second best is fish bait and the third is spiked bait. All three are incredibly good for fishing. But it's really up to you which one you want, and you can check out which what they do. But that's pretty much what I've been told, so that's why I'm using fish bait right now. But just always be using a bait. Now that we've gone over where and how you can must fish for maximum fishing XP, let's also talk a little bit about Marina. So as we know, Marina is the fishing mayor, and she is incredibly powerful for fishing and is pretty much the only reason why a lot of people are able to improve in the fishing skill as it is one of the most difficult skills to level up. Marina's first buff is that she gives you 50% more fishing XP. So that is absolutely insane and already increases your fishing XP by 50%. Her second buff gives you 15 additional sea creature chance which makes more sea creatures spawn, obviously. But these sea creatures almost always give you more fishing XP than just fishing drops. So it is always better to get more sea creatures. Her final buff, Fishing Festival, activates a fish shark festival or fishing festival every now and then where you can fish up sharks. Not only can you make a lot of money from this, sharks also give you a massive amount of fishing XP. So it is also an excellent time to fish. Well guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed or learned something new. Of course, please keep in mind as well that this guide isn't perfect. I'm not exactly the biggest expert in fishing, but I did, I read up on a lot of stuff and that's pretty much why I came up with for a pr at least a pretty good strategy to get fishing XP. But of course, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. Once again, we are almost at 1,000 subscribers. So please join and join the sub 1,000 team. All right, that's pretty much it. And of course, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.